Now, what if your cell phone could help police find you? If you are ever missing or abducted, that's the hope for a piece of new legislation. It was created by the father of Kelsey Smith, a young girl who was kidnapped and killed while shopping in an Overland Park store. KBC News' Keisha Henry shows us what this new law would mean for you. Keisha. That's right. Seven years after her disappearance and murder in broad daylight from this Target parking lot, Kelsey's parents are now trying to make sure that other people's loved ones are found in time and brought home safely. And it all starts with this. Fifteen states now have some version of the Kelsey Smith Act, including Kansas and Missouri. But if it passes at the federal level, in every state across the country, cell phone companies would have to hand over the location of a missing or endangered person's phone to investigators in order to help find them. The legislation passed out of the committee this week, and Kelsey's parents hope that it keeps going. They say legislation like this would not have saved Kelsey's life, but it could have saved them four days of anguish. Wondering where she was while they waited for the cell phone company to hand over that information. Once the phone records were released to law enforcement, um, it was too late that night to be able to locate Kelsey, but they went back out to the tower the next morning, narrowed the search, and she was found in 45 minutes. Now, the Kelsey Smith Act does require probable cause before law enforcement can get their hands on that location information. And the Smiths tell us that it won't give them access to the pictures, the text messages, what you've been looking at on your phone, or who you've been talking to. Nothing except for the location of that phone so that law enforcement can find missing and endangered people. Reporting live in Overland Park, Keisha Henry, KMBC 9 News. Now that the bill has passed the committee, it goes to the House for a full vote.